What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to emulate the Sega SG-1000. So here in the States we weren't fortunate enough to receive the SG-1000 without getting it imported, but today we are lucky enough to be able to emulate it. In my opinion this is a very highly looked over Sega system that definitely needs to be in your LaunchBox collection. We can emulate this with RetroArch and it does a really good job doing it. I'm going to walk you through, it's really simple to set up. If you don't have RetroArch set up, I have done a tutorial, link for that is in the description when you're done setting it up. Come on back here, we can finish setting up Sega SG-1000. First thing you're going to need here are some SG-1000 games. I have about a hundred of them here in a folder on my desktop. I'm going to transfer these over to my LaunchBox directory for easy access. If you look through here, most of them are Japanese or Taiwanese, but you will not have to read anything in 99.9% .9 of these games to know how to play them. And there's actually some really cool games in here. I'm going to transfer my Sega SG-1000 folder to my LaunchBox directory. Mine's located on a separate drive, launch box, games. I'm going to toss it right in here for easy access. Now what we want to do is launch RetroArch and download the core we're going to be using. So I have my RetroArch located in my launch box directory, emulators, RetroArch, and I'm just going to start it up right here. We're only going to need to do this one time. Online updater core updater and we're going to scroll all the way down here to Sega Genesis Plus GX. Genesis Plus GX will emulate SG-1000 really well. Just go ahead and download it. When it's done extracting we can close RetroArch. Now it's time to start up LaunchBox. So as you can see here I'm using LaunchBox next for this. Now getting SG-1000 set up is really easy. First thing we're going to do is head over here to Tools. We can also access Tools from here. Manage Emulators. I'm going to find RetroArch. Associated Platforms. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to create a new associated platform called Sega SG-1000. For the core, we want to find Genesis Plus GX. That's the core we downloaded. Make sure default emulator is checked. Click OK and close. So we got the emulator set up. We now need to import our games. Tools. Import. ROM files. This is the import wizard. Just go ahead and read through everything. Next, I'm going to add that whole SG-1000 folder that I added to my LaunchBox games directory. LaunchBox is automatically going to sort everything out for me, find the games inside of there. Click OK, and Next. What platform are we importing the games for? Sega SG-1000. So we'll find it down here. Next. RetroArch should already be chosen. If not, drop down, choose it from here. Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Search for game information from the LaunchBox games database. Next. I want to download as many images that I can. I'm also going to have it scrape EMU movies for me. Now if you're not familiar with EMU movies it is free to use but they offer a donation option and in my opinion it's well worth the money. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for SG-1000. We're almost ready to import. Here's the name of the game, file location, and the extension. Mine are all zipped up. Click finish. You'll get a progress bar at the bottom here. LaunchBox is going to go through, download all the metadata, and find all the artwork and everything we need. Give it a little while to finish up. All right, so all 100 of my games were imported successfully. We're going to click OK. Over on the left hand column we should now have a Sega SG-1000 section. Just going to scroll down here and see if everything scraped correctly. Looks like it grabbed every single piece of box art it could find. So this being Sega's first real console, it's not top of the line graphics or anything like that. It ran on a 3.94 MHz CPU with the Texas Instruments GPU. I'm going to show you one of my favorite games for the SG-1000. 
and you can find your own from there. I know the name's not great, but this is Dragon Wang. We're going to double click, start up RetroArch. I am using a PS4 controller for this. I'm using the PS4 controller and circle on the controller is start for me. So I told you it wasn't top of the line graphics, but there are some really cool games here. And this was one of the first consoles, if not the first, to get some anime properties on it. Scroll down here a bit and I'll show you one more game before we get out of here. Orgus. This was way ahead of its time when it was released. Now looking at it, some people are going to think this is a really ugly game, and to tell you the truth, it doesn't look that great. But back in the day, this was pretty much the first of its kind here. I'm going to go ahead and transform back into the plane. So if you watch my character here, I'm going to get rid of him. I'll transform back into the mech. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have the Sega SG-1000 imported into your LaunchBox collection. Please don't miss out on this. If you can get a hold of it, definitely add it to your collection because it's well worth it. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.